We go in depth now with the Target 12 investigators. Today was supposed to be a significant day in the criminal case against Aaron Thomas, the former North Kingstown High School basketball coach accused of getting students to take off their clothes in his office to conduct so called naked fat tests. Target 12 investigator Tim White joins me now, and Tim, a judge was poised to decide yeah. if the criminal case could move forward today. Yeah, that's right. Superior Court Judge Melanie Thunberg was expected to issue a decision on the defense's request to throw out the charge today, but that got pushed off for two more weeks. As we reported in January, Thomas's attorney essentially essentially made two arguments to get the criminal case dismissed. One, that there isn't enough evidence to support the charges against him and that the statute of limitations had expired on one of the counts. Thomas has pleaded not guilty to one count of second degree sexual assault and one count of child molestation. So Tim, do we know why the judge didn't issue a ruling today? Yeah, we don't, but it's not uncommon as you know for there to be delays in criminal cases. I will point out the charging document filed by the AG's office is 200 pages long and Judge Th Thunberg said she wanted to review the entire thin thing before making a decision. So it's possible she simply needed more time. Okay, of course you will stay on top of yes. that. Before we let you go though, though, there could be some news tomorrow on the controversy that's been surrounding RIPTA CEO Scott Avedisian. That's right. The RIPTA board has called for a special meeting tomorrow afternoon to consider ending Avedisian's contract. As you may remember, last Thursday, Avedisian sent a letter of resignation to Governor Dan McKee after Avedisian was charged in a hit and run accident at a McDonald's drive through late last month. Police say he was behind the wheel of his RIPTA vehicle at the time. Avedisian has one year left on his contract and makes about $182,000 a year. We're told he is negotiating a severance package with RIPTA, so tomorrow. The board could vote to approve or reject the terms of his exit. If they approve it, Avedisian's tenure as RIPTA's chief will come to an end after roughly six years on the job. And that meeting is tomorrow at 1.30. Yes. Target 12 investigator Tim White, thanks so much for being here. Thank you.